Back in August 2021, I made a video about the MC Biker businesses and explained in detail just how trash these really are. Rockstar Games must have obviously seen me slating them as they have now increased the payouts on these businesses by 25% and in some cases reduced the cost to fill your warehouse, but only on the PS5 and the Xbox Series consoles as part of GTA Online's expanded and enhanced package. So in this video I will be guiding you through all the updated details you need in order for you to make the most money from these businesses in the fastest possible way. So without further ado, let's get to it. For every warehouse, you never want to steal the supplies. You always want to buy the supplies. A full stock of supplies will cost you $75,000, but this is much better than wasting 20 minutes or so doing supply missions, as they stop your warehouse producing stock in that time, are a pain in the ass, but also you could be making more than that money back by doing other jobs in the meantime. So always, always, always buy the supplies. Another thing you want to do is fully upgrade the businesses you plan to sell on a regular basis. This will not only increase productivity, saving you time, but also increase the quality of your product so you can sell it for more, and paying for the extra security will vastly cut the chances of your business being raided. The prices of each upgrade will differ depending on the business. So first up is the document forgery business. Previously, paying a $75,000 for supplies would have actually put you at a loss of $9,000 each time. But that has all changed, as it would now cost you just $90,000 to fill up, and you can sell it for just under $160,000, giving you a total profit of $67,500. The main downside to this is just one resupply will almost fill up your warehouse, so it's pretty much sold as a full warehouse, and that means three or more selling vehicles. Completely not solo friendly, so you will need some buddies to help you out. If you buy the best location, which in my opinion is the most expensive one in the city, and max out all of the upgrades, which would cost you a total of just under $2.3 million, it would take a massive total of 34 selling missions before you started to see a return on your investment. If you buy the cheapest location with all the upgrades, totaling just under $1.7 million, it would take you 25 selling missions before you saw a profit. For the time invested, especially with so many selling missions with little return, it's totally not worth doing and it will take you three hours to fill up your document forgery business. Avoid this one at all costs. We're throwing this stuff out with the trash. Back on old gen, the weed business used to pay out $252,000 per full sale, but this has now increased to $315,000. It takes $150,000 worth of supplies to fill it up, which leaves you with a profit of $165,000 per sale. Still not solo friendly, as each resupply will fill up half a warehouse of stock, meaning you could be getting two vehicles for each sale. The most expensive weed business fully upgraded will set you back just over 2.9 million. That means it would take 18 full warehouse selling missions before you start to see a true profit. If you own the cheapest weed warehouse, which costs almost 2.3 million, it would take 14 full selling missions. I wouldn't recommend buying this if you haven't already, but if you already own one, it may be time to start selling some Mary Jane once again. It takes around five and a half hours to fully stock up your weed warehouse. Back on old gen, a full warehouse of cash used to sell for just $294,000. But on new gen, this has been increased to $367,500 per fully stocked business. Just like the weed, it will cost $150,000 to fully stock, which is equivalent to just two resupplies. The profit you'll now make is $217,500 per sale. Again, still not solo friendly as one resupply could also see you move in two vehicles. If you have the most expensive location, it will set you back to just over $3.2 million after upgrades. It will then take you 15 full sell emissions before you break even. If you go for the cheapest location with full upgrades, at a cost of almost $2.5 million, it will take you 12 sell emissions before you see a profit and it takes five and a half hours to fully stock. However, the extra bonus you get with counterfeit cash is how you can use it as a feeder business for your nightclub. Set your warehouse technician to cash creation and in 20 hours, you'd have made another $140,000 of passive income. But that's if your business is not producing any stock. If you are producing counterfeit cash, then a nightclub will produce $189,000. For this reason alone, it's definitely worth having a counterfeit cash business, and it may now be time to start selling from the warehouse too. You closed that deal, all right. Wiring the funds right away, LJT out. 
the meth business is also another one you can have feeding your nightclub, making you an additional $229,500 in 20 hours, all totally passive income, if you keep the business running. If you do not keep it running, the nightclub will produce $170,000 worth of stock. With regards to the warehouse itself, a full one will now sell for $446,250, cost $165,000 to fully stock it with supplies, leaving you with a profit of just over $281,000 per sale. Meth is also another business which isn't very solo friendly, for each supply turned into product will give you at least two selling vehicles. If you buy the most expensive location, which is by far the best one in Grand Sonora Desert, costing almost $3.7 million, it would take 13 full selling missions to break even. If you get the cheapest one at nearly $2.9 million, it would take 10 full selling missions before you turn a profit. Meth takes the longest time to fill a warehouse, at 6 hours, but just under $300,000 of profit for each sale is a good opportunity to make some extra cash. And now the daddy of MC biker businesses, the Coke Factory. A full warehouse used to sell for $420,000, but that has now been increased to a very nice $525,000, $105,000 more. Each full warehouse sale will now net you a profit of $360,000 as it costs $165k to fully resupply it. So for each $75k you spend on resupplying, you'll earn $135,000 back as profit, which is on par with the bunker, which was well known as the best passive business to own in GT Online, especially because it's solo friendly. It takes just 5 hours to fill up a coke warehouse, but only 1.5 hours for one supply to be turned into product. Compare that with the bunker at almost 2.5 hours, and it's easy to argue how coke is now the best passive income business in the game. Spending the 75k and then selling when that has all been used up will give you 1.5 bars of stock, which means you'll only ever get one selling vehicle. If you are a solo player, it's best to buy the supplies, wait until they're all used up, then buy more supplies before selling your product rinse and repeat. The most expensive coke warehouse with upgrades will set you back a cool 3.747 million, meaning it will take 11 selling missions until you earn a profit. If you buy the cheapest coke warehouse for just over 2.8 million, it will take 8 selling missions. The coke business is also another business which will help you stock up your nightclub, with 10 crates in 20 hours making $270,000 of passive income. If you keep stocking up your warehouse, if you don't keep stocking it up, it will produce slightly less at $200,000. So in essence, the coke business could now be making you as much as just under $2.95 million in a 20 hour period, minus the supply cost. All you need to do is sell it. The biggest drawback for the MC biker businesses is how terrible some of the selling missions can be. Three post stop vans are the worst, followed by three trash trucks. With coke and weed, it's possible to just have one vehicle which is capable of selling a full warehouse worth of product. The next two best selling missions are the helicopters and the boats. If you do get a selling mission you don't want, you can find a new lobby and try again, but you will lose a chunk of stock each time you start a selling mission and then quit the lobby. You will get a $2,000 bonus for every other player in the lobby when you sell, but the more people in the lobby increases the chances of more griefers. Always bear in mind that if you get more than one vehicle and you don't have enough people to drive or pilot each one, it will mean leaving some stock behind which can easily be blown up and lost. You're also pretty much a sitting duck to everyone else in the lobby, and if a total douche with tiny balls comes along, they will see this as an opportunity to be an a-hole and blow up your stock. Just bear in mind that if you are this person, you may live to regret your decision. When you're not selling, be sure to disband your MC so none of your businesses will get raided.
A major factor you want to take into consideration is the location for all of your businesses. If you can afford it, I recommend buying the most expensive of each business as they will all be in relatively close proximity to each other in the city, with the exception of the meth lab, which is just on the outskirts. As you can see from the ones that I own, they are also close to other businesses and small locations, like the Coke warehouse right next to the Del Perro apartments and the weed warehouse right next to the nightclub. Buying all of these locations with max upgrades will cost a total of just under $16 million. But you may as well disregard the document forgery business and maybe even the weed business, which leaves the three best warehouses costing just over $10.6 million. Another benefit of having city locations is that your highest paying sale missions will be further north, where there tends to be fewer people and therefore fewer griefers. Look at these as a long-term investment, and if, like me, you don't particularly like the hassle of selling these on a regular basis, they will occasionally be on double money event weeks, where you can absolutely rake it in. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beatsdown, and I'll see you in the next one.